In this update, you will find a new menu folder, which is called Export. Please update your modules and import a new menu to receive it. The way this works is once you have created your iBar, you will select the hybrid and you're going to prepare construction file data. This will flip it to the center of Blender. Everything else is hidden. And then you're going to click on export data. Now, that button is going to put the files into the same directory where your files have been saved. Let's test this. You will find that all of the data is in the same folder than where your Blender file exists. All, the, all of the necessary files you can find here, including your STL, your hybrid shell STL file exists over here. Then we have the construction file data. And we have the other data. This can be used in the hyperdent. Now let us make construction file data for the iBar. The same thing, prepare construction data. Then we're going to, we have the emergence line over here. No need to do anything. Then we're going to select edge loops. Zoom in and then double click on an edge, holding the shift key down and then continuing to your next one. Hold the shift key down and double click. Once I've all been selected, you're going to click on accept. These are going to be called abutment base to comply with the hyperdent software. Then click on export data. Let us have a look. We now have a construction data to file. The iBar STL is called iBar Complete. You will find all the necessary files in this folder.